Hello friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. I worked construction after I graduated from high school and sometimes we would have to cut pieces of two by four the exact same size for a project, walls, stairs, whatever. And instead of measuring every single one of them to cut, I would measure and cut the first one and use it as a pattern for the rest. I would line up the two by fours with a pattern on top, drop a line and cut the two by four and wind up with multiple pieces of wood the exact same size. In Genesis chapter five, a generational pattern emerges from the account of Adam's descendants. In Genesis chapter five, verses three through five, we read this. When Adam was 130 years old, he became the father of a son who was just like him, his very image. He named his son Seth. And after the birth of Seth, Adam lived another 800 years and he had other sons and daughters. Adam lived 930 years and then he died. Here's the pattern that we see in verses three through five. Adam lived, Adam had children, and Adam died. Then we even take a look at verses six through eight and we see proof of the pattern. Verse six, when Seth was 105 years old, he became the father of Enosh. After the birth of Enosh, Seth lived another 807 years. He had other sons and daughters. Seth lived 912 years and then he died. Seth lived, Seth had children, and Seth died. Verse after verse, it goes on like this. Generation after generation after generation of people following the exact same pattern. They lived, they had children, they died. They lived, they had children, they died. Nothing noteworthy, nothing remarkable. Every generation doing the very same thing as the previous generation. But in verse 21, something happens that breaks the generational pattern. In verse 21, in verse 21, Enoch broke the pattern. When Enoch was 65 years old, he became the father of Methuselah. After the birth of Methuselah, Enoch lived in close fellowship with God for another 300 years. And he had other sons and daughters. Enoch lived 365 years walking in close fellowship with God and then one day he disappeared because God took him. Enoch's life broke the pattern. He shattered the expectations for living a ho-hum life. He sought God wholeheartedly and he lived in close fellowship with him. Now, I don't know what generational patterns run in your family tree. Some have addictions, abuse, tempers, alcoholism, drug use, divorce. But I can tell you what my general generational patterns were. They were filled with abuse, generations filled with alcoholism, generations filled with al uh, addictions and temper. And through Jesus Christ, every one of those patterns have been broken in my life. I am a man transformed by God to have a close fellowship with him. God has broken the pattern of generational sin in my life and he can do the very same thing for you. Just ask him. He can set you free and give you a firm foundation to stand. Regardless of your past, regardless of the generations that have gone before you, through Jesus Christ, patterns can be broken. Isn't God awesome? If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, and share it on social media. God bless.